This channel needs something new, something fresh, something to bring Minecraft back into the limelight. That's where the theme comes in. I'm a hobbit, but I haven't had my adventure. This series will help me do just that. I used MCA to place a copy of Mount Doom a hundred thousand blocks away from where we are in Hobbiton. I must take my ring the distance to destroy it in the fiery inferno, even though I'm dressed as Bilbo? This series will be like no other, except maybe a, a simple walk into Mordor and Farlands or Bust, except I'll actually reach my goal. This is the 100,000 block journey. Now let's go. Hey, what is up guys? Trex here, and welcome back to another episode of the 100,000 block journey. This is day 45, which means by my estimate, we are around five days from the end, uh, from our end goal of Mount Doom, which means there's only going to be two more episodes after this one, maybe, maybe three. Uh, we'll probably do the last hunt, just couple thousand blocks or so, in um, in one in one day episodes or something. But yeah, we are getting close to our destination and close to the end of Minecraft on my channel. So yeah. Um, it's gonna be pretty soon. By the time uh, we reach the end, though, I'll have I'll have fixed the uh, texture pack so that we don't lose our ring of power again, and it will instead have the ring texture back so that it is more canon. So, anyways, watch out for that ravine tricks. And yeah, this one this episode is only going to be one day. And then at the end we'll press F3 because I don't have much time to record this and I was watching movie trailers the entire time that I could have been recording it. So yeah, it's kind of late and I want to watch The Born Identity tonight and so I'm just going to get this done. And so yeah, but we are getting very close to our destination. I believe, I, by my estimate, since we're like 2,000 blocks ahead of schedule, I'd say we're 8th. We're going to be 8,000 blocks away at the end of this video, is my guess. And we'll be able to press F3 to check, and we'll be able to press F3 whenever we want to as well, because we will hopefully have broken 90,000 blocks. And as I've been saying throughout the series, once we break 90,000, we'll be able to press F3 whenever we want, so that we can get our um, Z coordinate right, as well as the X1. Because the Z, the M Mountain Doom is located at X100,000, Z uh, minus 5, I believe. And so we're going to have to be pretty close to the origin um, of Z in order to uh, get to Mount Doom on time. And so after we break 90,000 blocks, we'll just press F F3 whenever. It's, it's going to be great, and it shouldn't be too much longer before we are able to do that. I should really cook some food soon, but I don't feel like it. Uh, I have pork chops and stuff. I'll cook some food at the next at our next stop. Actually, let's just kill some rabbits real quick just to get something to eat. Um, and they're here anyways. Oh, we're slobbering children. That's never a good thing. Uh, we got one piece of rabbit meat, so it's all good. I suppose. Maybe. No, slaughter more children. It's fun. Anyways, there we go. We've passed this mountain, and we have a uh, snow biome. That's interesting. Went from plains to snow instantly. I see some cows. Let's get some delicious steak. Oh, I really want a steak. Steak would be very nice right now, actually. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That'd be delicious. Steak is so good. Answer in the comments below, what's your favorite type of steak? Unless you're a vegetarian, then I'm sorry for you, because that's sad. Anyways, um, yeah, like New York Strip, or sirloin, or ribeye, or the other types of steak that they have. Yeah, just like to know, because I'm going to buy you all steak dinners. Oh, boy. Just kidding. Just kidding. Don't quote me on that. Do not quote me on that. Anyways. Mm. When I get this export, I'm going to go and take a nice warm shower because I'm all sweaty from my workout for football not too long ago. 
And I'm slightly tired from that as well, so I'm not going to be very enthusiastic. Oh, my name is Les Grossman. Oh, I'm boring and tired. I'm played by Tom Cruise, but you didn't know that. Oh, I haven't seen that movie. Kind of want to see it. Simple Jack, Ben Stiller, Robert Downey Jr., Blackface, Jack Black, Tom Cruise, Matthew Connery, Bill Hader. Love Bill Hader. He's great. I'm just naming the cast of Tropic Thunder at this point. Except Simple Jack was played by Tom. Was played by Ben Stiller. I need to watch a Ben Stiller movie. I haven't seen one in a while. Oh, yeah. I'm going to watch Zoolander. I'm either going to watch... Okay, here's what's going to be after I finish making this. I'm going to finish making the video. I'm going to put in my editor. I'm going to add the intro and the effects. And then I'm going to get it exporting. It's going to take like 20 minutes to export. If I do it, it's 60 FPS. Even though I'm recording it around 20 because of shaders. Um, then I'm going to go and take a nice shower. Then I'm going to come back, start uploading the video, make the thumbnail, and then watch some Born Identity. Because I just finished watching through the Mission Impossible series, except for Rogue Nation. I need to see that, because that movie looks phenomenal. And Ghost Protocol was the greatest movie ever made. Just kidding. But it was... Ghost Protocol is a phenomenal movie. So is Mission Impossible 3. Like, the first Mission Impossible was like... This is cool. This is obviously the origin. I'm getting 11 frames per second right now. Yeah, I don't have OptiFine installed. I'm so. Oh my gosh, that's unbearable. Come on, come on. Video settings, let's go. Uh, what can I do? Alternate blocks off. Um, graphics. Fancy. Because I'm a fancy kind of guy. This is unbearable. 10 FPS, come on. Let's go fast. Just. I. I need Optifine. I need Optifine now. I need it. There we go, that should be good. Anyways. Dang it! Anyways, then we're gonna watch Born Identity. And then go to bed. Oh, and read around the world in 80 days. Because, yeah, why am I getting less than 10 FPS? I should, probably should have closed Chrome, actually. That would be a good idea. Yeah, but this episode should be almost over. Oh, if we look at the sun, we go faster, because that makes sense. Anyways, uh, yeah, let's just let's just Gary's mod it. If we look up, we get better FPS. Mm. Maybe if we hide the UI, we get better FPS. No, no, it's still terrible. I'm sorry, it's terrible. I should disable shaders, actually. Options, shaders, none. Turn it off. We'll just get shaded. Yeah, oh, it's so much better now. Hmm. Smooth and silky 60. Dang it. It died. We'll turn on shaders for when we take a thumbnail, which I should probably take soon. Because, yeah. Anyways. Born Identity, I've seen it once, except it was on a tiny screen, coming back from Big Bend after I biked upwards of 50 miles in a weekend. So yeah, I don't, I don't recall it too well. But I've heard that the Born Ultimatum, the third one in the franchise, was really good. It's in the IMDb Top 250. And there were no more Born films made after that. And Jeremy Renner had no part in the Born films at all. Speaking of Jeremy Renner, he was in Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol as well as Simon Pegg. They are both great. Mission. So, oh, I was, I was talking about Mission Impossible. So, the first Mission Impossible was like, the, yeah, this is an adaptation of the TV show, and it's very obviously the, the first one in the series. It's not the best, but it's bearable. And then Mission Impossible 2 is like, movie is so dull. The franchise is going to get shut down after this because John Woo was a terrible director except for Face Off. Um, but yeah, and then that the best part of the movie was the ridiculous climax at the end where Tom Cruise this isn't a spoiler. He jumps off a motorcycle and he basically road skis. He water skis but on asphalt. And somehow the soles of his shoes don't catch on fire. So yeah, best part of the movie, e e easily. And then Mission Impossible 3 was directed by J.J. Abrams. 
It was great. It was amazing. The my the worst part of the movie was the um tunnel chase scene. Tom everybody knows what this stunt is. Tom Cruise pulls off this amazing stunt where he leans out the side of a moving car and shoots at his pursuers, but there were so many flashing lights of yellow and red and green that kind of ruined the shot. But that was my only complaint about the movie. Philip Seymour Hoffman was fantastic. There's all sorts of masks being pulled off and explosions and rabbit's feet and awesome stunts and Tom Cruise being Tom Cruise and being insane and stuff. It was a great movie. It was so good. But yeah. Yeah, Ghost Protocol is phenomenal. I really like that movie. I'm looking at the Blu-rays. I have all four Mission Impossible Blu-rays on my DVD racks right now. When Rogue Nation comes out on DVD or Blu-ray, you know who's going to be first in line to pick up a co pick up a copy? Yours truly. Oh yeah, it's starting to get dark. We should take a thumbnail. We'll just ooh yes, perfect. Shaders, Seuss. That's a beautiful thumbnail right there. Can we re reload the chunks, please, so that we can get the thumbnail? Come on, re reload the chunks. Yes, there we go. All right, all right. The place between the pines. I need to rewatch Psych. Okay, we're all are, are we all loaded in? Quick, take the thumbnail. All right. Um, now we just need to find a place to sleep, cause yeah, we'll just dig ourselves a hole, like a literal hole right down here. We're digging straight down, guys. We're definitely going to hit lava because that's a thing that always happens indisputably. Carrying on. Let's set up a furnace as well. Um, so that furnace. We'll start cooking our meats. Boom. Got an achievement. Eat that. There we go. Actually, don't burn the spruce wood. Burn that. Anyways, carrying on. Um... Make the bed. We're not going to run out of wool, so it should be good. Place the bed down. And we are going to press F3 to see how far we have come. And 92,000. Oh, my gosh. 92,000 bucks. And we're not too far off on the Z-axis either. Um, yeah, we just have to go to the left a bit to get to minus 5. So, yeah, that shouldn't... We're getting close, guys. We're going to be able to press F3 whenever we want to now. This is going to be great. I'm going to go to sleep. So, anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, then be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for some more awesome content. It, um, the next episode of the 100,000 Block Journey will be Thursday. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye.